hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be talking about one of the biggest milestones in a child's life which is potty training so before i start as a mom let me know which do you consider as the most difficult is it winning your baby or potty training as for me i think potty training is really really difficult winning your baby to me it's not so difficult but you see potty training <laughs> potty training go whine you but no panic <laughs> So now, my own take and opinion on potty training might be a little bit controversial, but I stand by it and I'll say that as a parent, start potty training when you are ready. When you, the parent, are ready and not when the child is ready. A lot of people say, oh, start potty training when the child is ready, start potty training when the child is ready. But for me, I think parents should start potty training when they are ready, not when the child is ready. I personally do not belong to the school of thought of, oh, potty train when your child is ready, potty train when your child is ready. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't believe that because of what use is it? Of what use when your baby is ready and you as a parent, you are not mentally ready, you are not emotionally ready to start potty training your child it makes no sense i said this because potty training requires a whole lot of patience like if you're not patient please 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 do not start potty training like pot like i said potty training is going to wind you but do not panic potty training like you need to download and order trailer loads of patients before you can start potty training because your child is going to test you to the very last when you're potty training trust me so when you are ready you are ready like you know that you are ready to be patient with your child emotionally mentally and otherwise you are ready to like take whatever it comes with like whatever the potty training comes with, you are ready to take it then you will now know that okay i am ready for this thing Manu, let us start so now then children they learn by reputation like you keep telling them things that's how they learn right so the more you teach them the more they will learn now your child can be ready but you as a parent you are not mentally ready you are not emotionally ready and then you end up finding yourself um screaming at your child getting angry at your child just always shouting at your child like you are basically shouting at a child that doesn't have control over nada like your child doesn't have control over his or her bladder and you're busy shouting for that child like make it make sense so that is why i said you should start potty training when you the parent are ready to put in the work to be patient with your child emotionally and mentally the reason i'm saying this is because my second child just clocked two and to be honest i thought like i was ready to potty train this child like i thought i was mentally okay i was emotionally okay for us to start potty training but i was wrong and as a nigerian as a nigerian mom i mean you all, you all can agree that a child at two years is old enough to start potty training i mean there are some parents that even start way before two years to potty train their kids and there are some parents that are like you know what let me just wait until the child is a bit grown before we can start potty training so i am in that class of let me wait until my child is a bit grown and can like the child can talk before we can you know start potty training yeah so he just clocked to and i like i said i thought i was mentally okay and emotionally okay for us to start potty training so i've been trying to potty train this boy since august and like he seems not to just get it do you understand and this leads to frustration it leads to anger because he's always messing up the whole place he's always messing up himself and for the fact that i was um, able to potty train my first child at the age of two so i thought everything was gonna be smooth you know i just wanted to use the same hands i used for my first child with him but this one was just sending frustration down my spine and i was not just getting results like I, I just kept asking myself is this something i'm doing different like what am i supposed to do this is a boy that can actually talk he tells me everything like my son says every other thing except i want to poo poo i want to pee pee most of the times he will say it after he has already messed himself up like after he has already pooped in his diapers 
that's when you come and tell me mommy i want to poo poo like it is frustrating trust me and if you live in nigeria you will know that the price of diapers it is not smiling like mm -mm, it's not smiling so i really really wanted to potty train him actually my aim was to potty train him before school resumes in september so the whole of august i used it in particular like i put in so much effort ah ah it was frustrating you people at some point i was like you know what please let's just go back to diapers because i cannot do i cannot do this so i just kind of realized that i wasn't ready do you get i wasn't ready mentally i wasn't i wasn't ready emotionally probably because i thought that it was going to be as easy as my first child was do you understand because my first child within a week she could tell me when she wants to use it um the potty and then she could tell me when she wants like she she was able to communicate did you get so i was thinking that okay this one he's two years old he talks he says a whole lot of things he can tell me when he's hungry he can tell me anything he wants to so i was thinking okay that means he's ready for potty training but me personally i didn't look at my own side i just felt like okay your sister was ready at the age of two you are two years so i feel like you're also ready for potty training i did not realize that i was not ready for it mentally and also like i, I started noticing my frustration after like three weeks and i wasn't seeing results and it was like i just kept remembering how it was quite easy for my first child and i just kept asking myself why is this one so difficult what am i doing different that like what am i not just being right do you get so when i just noticed that there was no results i was just getting frustrated and always angry and always screaming at him i just decided to stop totally until when i feel like i am ready to potty train this boy i am ready to accept whatever comes with it i am ready to clean him up with love i am ready like whenever he messes himself i am ready to clean up the house then we can now talk about potty training at least by then i am mentally ready i am emotionally ready i am ready to wait no matter how long it will take him to potty train because that's another thing i think made me frustrated like i want a quick result do you get i i didn't think it was going to take him long so because it didn't take my first child long so i just thought like okay with him it shouldn't take long right so i didn't realize that every child is different when it comes to potty training and my mindset was okay at least two weeks every child should be able to potty train within two weeks so but his own was taking months and it it took me a while for me to realize that okay every child is different so yeah when i'm ready to do that and i'm emotionally stable and mentally stable and ready to teach him with love and you know accept everything potty training comes with then mm -hmm, we can now you know we can now start doing it bit by bit bit by bit bit by bit it's not the one that will be shouting you know getting angry with a sprinkle of spanks here and there you know just pouring out my frustration on the little boy that doesn't even understand what is going on so yeah that's why i keep saying when you the parent are ready that is when you can start potty training but aside that please do not start it because you will get frustrated trust me you will i also feel like um one of the reasons why it was difficult for me to potty training was because i was still using diapers on him while we were potty training you get so i didn't actually realize that i'm supposed to not use diapers i'm supposed to keep diapers aside and just go strictly on pants do you get so we were still using diapers so i feel like that also made him comfortable to always sew his diapers and not able to tell me when he wants to you know use the potting so i later realized that i was supposed to um just put him on pants or better still leave him to walk naked so that it will be able to um you know help him potty train faster and better actually we stopped wearing diapers right but um, all this boy just kept messing up himself messing up the whole place like you will literally clean this particular place this minute and then the next minute another place like he has messed up another place so like yo ah it was frustrating you know like i had to keep cleaning the house i know now i have kids in the house definitely when 
you are mopping the house you will need to use antiseptics because you have children in the house things fall on the ground they pick things from the floor to put in their mouth so seeing poo on the floor is like i don't like it do you get so i got so frustrated and i was like ah no nah, no nah, no nah, this boy let's go back to diapers i beg let me not come and kill myself i beg let us just be going back to diapers till whenever we are ready whenever you and i are ready or me i am ready first then we can now start the process all over again so please when you are ready to start potty training your child do away with anything diapers go to the market buy lots of pants buy lots of boxers and um you know use that to train them or better still let them walk naked in the house but just be ready for annoyance be ready for tantrums from both ends from both your end and your baby's end but just keep pushing don't stop keep pushing don't wear him diapers because that's the mistake i made i got frustrated and i went straight back to diapers and stopped potty training so just keep pushing know that you are aiming for a particular result and trust me we are going to see that result also have a strict um eating time with your kids especially in the evening also try and have um a strict eating time with your kids especially in the evening right for example my own kids here yeah, once it is 7 30 they are on bed so five o'clock five five thirty they've eaten their dinner and once it is 7 30 everybody climbs bed yes i make sure my kids sleep early especially during school period so that they get enough sleep because they wake up early and throughout the day they don't sleep till at night again so i always make sure that they sleep early so that they can get at least eight to ten hours of sleep before it's daybreak right so i make sure that five o'clock latest 5 30 to 6 nothing enters their tummy again like once they are done eating their food for the evening that's it no matter what you're not taking water you're not taking anything except of course it is emergency but if my daughter comes and tell me mommy i want to drink water i'll tell her I don't drink water so that you're not bed wet so that to help her and also help me so yeah keep um strict eating time with your kids if you want to potty train them and also before they climb bed just make sure that they have emptied their bowels empty their system before they climb bed. like sometimes when my kids are done eating you know it's time for bed i'll take them to the um toilet i'll tell them everybody sits on the toilet you have to pee you have to you know empty your system empty empty your bowels so that we do not have um wet bed in the morning and all of that so i always make sure they sit on the toilet and at least try to empty themselves before they climb bed sometimes they pee sometimes they do not and it's fine then when your child wakes up in the morning put your child on the potty some children do not like potty you see them crying and well sit your child on the potty do you get now what i used to do when i started potty training my son was that whenever he cries we will start singing that singing now distracts him we'll start counting we'll sing lots of songs it distracts him do you get and lets him sit one place because some children can really really throw big tantrums when it comes to potty training but you have to find a way around it you have to know what works for you you have to know what the child likes you have to know what you can do to be able to keep your child in check when it comes to potty training and then i remember i used to set alarm like after every um 10 to 15 minutes i used to carry him to the potty then i now increased it to like um 20 to 25 minutes 30 to you know 40 minutes i used to carry him to the potty sometimes he will pee or poo sometimes he does not and it's all fine it's all fine so i used to do all these things and he actually adjusted towards the potty training but my only problem was that he could not always tell me when he wants to poo or pee do you get that was my only problem so he would just end up messing himself up but initially he did not like the potty but i was able to make him adjust and like his potty and i also noticed that my son normally pulls like once he's done eating so what i did was immediately he's done eating i'll give him like five to ten minutes sometimes 15 minutes then just take him to the potty on my own without you know him telling me that he wants to poop so i'll just take him to the potty now do not think that after doing all of this they will still like your your baby is still not going to mess up the whole place your baby is still gonna mess your house up 
that is why i say start potty training when you as a parent are ready because by then you are ready to welcome whatever comes with potty training all the tantrums all the messes everything you are ready for it emotionally and mentally and sometimes before your baby even tells you that they want to pull up they have already messed themselves up oh my baby girl you got to be ready like you got to download trailer loads of patience <laughs> hey god i don't know how to emphasize on this you need a lot a lot of patience to potty train now potty training is um a hands-on job so you need to be there to listen to your child if possible please do not allow your nanny or your help to potty train your child because if you as a parent do not have the patience to potty train your child how much more another person trust me they are going to beat the hell out of your child so ex well except you are there to supervise so but it is better for you to be there it is better for you as a parent to do the potty training than another person now i also realized that some schools i think most schools in nigeria they actually do potty training for kids that's how like that's what actually helped my first child to potty train because i waited up until her school was ready to start potty training her then we started at home so they used to potty train her in school and i used to potty train her at home so i kind of feel like that is what actually helped her to potty train within one week like my first child was able to potty train within one week i was shocked i was surprised so that's why i still came like i still had that mentality of okay my son should be able to potty train within one week but um, from one week he entered two weeks from two weeks he entered three weeks from three weeks he entered four weeks and that was how like the whole six weeks my kids were on holiday my son was not able to potty train and i think i'm just going to wait until his school is ready to start then that is when i will start at least by then I'll have to prepare myself mentally and emotionally because I know that it's going to take a whole lot of work and also it's going to be a little bit easy because I mean both home and school they are putting in the work do you get it? another important thing I will say is that please do not compare your child because that was what I was actually doing like that was what I was literally doing I kept saying but your sister was able to potty train under one week how come you are not able to potty train do you understand how come this boy is not able to tell me that he wants to pull but he can tell me every other thing so I, I used to compare him i'm not even going to lie i used to compare my son with my daughter like what what what, what am i doing different why is it not working why am i not seeing results do you get so please do not compare your child every child runs at their own pace and then every child develops differently that was what i came to realize and i've actually accepted that very well so another thing i'll have to say is that please 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 be forgiving potty train can be mentally and emotionally draining but please be forgiving like it is literally going to mess you up mentally but you have to be forgiving when i started potty training my son at like two three weeks almost i saw a side of me that i kept questioning myself like who is this person where is this person coming from why are you always nagging why are you always shouting why are you always screaming why are you always angry and it's so it's so funny that once i'm angry like everybody will collect <laughs> it is not just the person that is making me angry everybody go collect so at that point i was always angry and when i realized that i mean it was affecting everybody around me I had to just stop i had to stop because he's not good and i also realized that i was always screaming at him why can't you learn why can't you talk what is the problem if he's to say other things you can say why can't you tell me that you want to poo, poo why do you keep messing yourself up why do you keep messing the whole house up why can't you just learn just learn like i was always you know but at some point i just realized that nah this is no get here there's no point there is no point of just being frustrated over nothing <laughs> being frustrated over somebody that does not have control of whatever is happening to him so please be forgiving and that is why i keep on saying start body training when you the parents are ready because by then you will know that okay i signed up for it i am ready for it he's messing up himself I know this was going to happen he is pulling everywhere i know this was going to happen he did not tell me he wants to pull on time i know this was going to happen and i was ready for it i am ready for it 
Start potty training when you are ready, yo. <laughs> potty training go when you but no panic. <laughs> Maintain this and composure. <laughs> Even till now, my son is still using diapers and he still pulls on himself. Like, I don't care. To be very honest, I do not care. So when I am ready, I will know that I am ready to start it. Now, me and you go face him. <laughs> this body training, you must be body trained. Do you get it? So now I am not ready emotionally and mentally. Let me face other things first. When it is time, we are going to do it. So in all, potty training is a gradual process. They are still going to learn. I mean, there are kids that are still bedwet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, they are still bedwetting. It is a gradual process. They will learn to outgrow it very soon. And also, be patient. Order for trailer load of mental stability, emotional stability. Order for it. Enough. Trailer load of it because you will need it. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, I think we have come to the end of this video please uh, just let me know what were the tips you used in potty training your child let me know whether i can you know use some of those tips for my own child maybe it will work let me know what tips you used let me know what age your child was um able to potty train like you're able to potty train your child you know let's talk in the comment section are you currently potty training your child what are the challenges you are facing as you're potty training your child I mean, leave all of them in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me. I love you guys. Thank you. Um, I need to go. I need to go pick up my kids. I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully for now. Do well to stay safe. Take care. Bye.